Okay, this is lesson three. So hopefully you've spent some time. Usually lessons are about one week, meaning I give you the information and then you practice that for about a week before you come back and add to it. So lesson one, you were practicing some verbs. Um, you know, these, these are the ones you, you should still remember. If you don't remember those or that you were is a little bit hesitating, then stop here, go back and practice those first. Otherwise, let's move forward and see what we got. Lesson three, you practice the Roman road during lesson two. Today, we're gonna talk about what you have to do. I have to. Oh, this is you have to. Okay, you have to. Tiene que. Tiene que. You have to. So this is formal. I'm saying you have to very politely. So if you're on a mission trip, and you're trying to tell somebody that they have to wait. You know, you have to wait. Tiene que esperar. It also means to hope. Tiene que esperar. You want to say, I have to. Tengo. Tengo que. Tengo que. So this one's going to be he or she has to, or a formal you. Tiene que esperar. Tiene que esperar. You have to wait or you have to hope. Tiene que hablar. Tiene que perdonar. This one's kind of like a nice way to ask. It's not actually not nice, is it? Tiene que ayudar. If you want to say you have to help me. Tiene que ayudarme. Tiene que ayudarme. Tiene que orar. Tiene que leer. All right, let's go back through those and practice with I need and I want. So this was tiene que. We could say tengo que also. So the yo form is tengo que. If you've done see it and say it, then this is very, very familiar to you and very easy. Necesito leer. Necesito orar. It would actually kind of be like necesito orar. Necesito orar. So you'd squish it together because the O and the O. Necesito orar. <laughs> necesito ayudar. Necesito perdonar. Necesito hablar. Ah, uh, necesito esperar. I need to hope or I need to wait. Oh, lo siento mucho. That's probably um, a little bit distracting. Lo siento mucho. Let me see. Okay, so now we have necesito esperar. Let's change it and add a new word. Necesito obedecer. Necesito obedecer. Obedecer. Obedecer, to obey. Obedecer, to obey. I need to obey. Necesito obedecer a mi madre. Necesito obedecer a mi padre. Necesito obedecer la Biblia. Let's see if we can make some new prepositional phrases. So it might not work with just the Bible by itself, but we can change some sentences. Necesito hablar de la Biblia. Necesito hablar about, I need to talk about the Bible. Necesito hablar de la Biblia. Mm, that one won't really work so much. We can say necesito perdonar con la Biblia o por qué está en la Biblia. Necesito ayudar. Hmm, that one won't work so much either. I need to help with the Bible. I need to help. Hmm. So they don't always work. Usually it's going to be with, with work. Con trabajo, con mi madre, con mi padre. Uh, lo siento. Necesito orar con la Biblia. You don't necesito, but it's, it's mejor. And then necesito leer la Biblia. 
All right, so have fun, you know, putting sentences together. Don't forget we have those other ones, which is quiero and no quiero. Quiero leer la Biblia. No quiero. Let's not do that one. We'll put that underneath. So you see how we can add them up, make uh, piles with sentence starters, verbs, and nouns. All right, practice those before you move on to lesson four.